How to survive in the desert among large and aggressive predators when you're small and defenseless, it's enough to be is to be a professional digger and not lose vigilance and remember that the most important thing is to be part of a team. Hello, friends, you're on top channel. The hero of, of today's episode is a fast and nimble and very organized predator who is not afraid of the most dangerous snakes, eats poisonous scorpions and engages in clan wars, we're talking about meerkats, so let's cut to the chase. The meerkats are small, predatory animals of the mongoose family that inhabit the desert and open lands of southern Africa. The animals are modestly sized. Body length not exceeding 35 centimeters weight of about 700 grams moderately thick orange-brown fur hides slender body, and its long tail, which reaches 25 centimeters allows you to easily balance, including standing on its hind legs, paws dark circles protect the eyes from the bright sun absorbing excess light meerkats is a very social animal that lives in colonies of several families. The total population is usually in the range of 20 to 30 individuals at the head of which there's always a female who's stronger and larger than the dominant male all members of the clan are very organized they hunt together and help each other and protect their territory is often no more than three square but it's not uncommon for rivalries between neighboring clans it's not uncommon for war to break out war often breaks out between neighboring clans the animals battle dance is when they eat their fur raise their tails and jump as high as they can higher in an attempt to intimidate the enemy the group most of the time it works but when the odds are stacked against them into a fierce fight that for some may end up with a fatal the African Kalahari Desert is an ideal for meerkats to live in because the sand the sand is the easiest place to dig burrows which act as shelter and dwellings. Burrows can be up to 2 meters deep and the dwelling is also equipped with many spare entrances because the meerkat's modest size makes the meerkat an attractive for a host of local predators. So safety is paramount. As a day living animal. Often begin their day by taking a sunbath to regain body temperature after a chilly desert night. But before they go out in search of for food, the clan puts out one or a few posts to get a better view, they climb to an elevated spot like which might be a bush or a tree, they scan not only the ground space but also pay special attention to the approach of feathered raptors and in case of danger. It raises the alarm. The sentinels are always on the lookout so other members of the clan can become fully immersed in search of food. After a while, a replacement comes to the tower so the sentry has time to eat as well. Meerkats are very sociable while they're feeding constantly talking to each other. In all, there are over 30 different variations of the cry, each with a specific meaning. For example, it can signify family gathering and not an airborne alarm in spite of size all meerkats and carnivores, the lion's portion of their diet consists of insects. All their senses are highly developed, but in for food is aided by their incredibly sensitive sense of smell. Even under a thick layer of sand. Looking for a single larva or beetle. A meerkat can dig a hole bigger than its own height and is aided in doing so by long, curved claws, a special place on the on the list of, of the meerkat's favorite foods. Scorpions are the best protected animals from their venom, but encounters with the most dangerous scorpions can end up in a bad way, so the meerkats rely on their lightning-fast reactions that are characteristic of the mongoose family, and following a well-honed tactics, the first thing they do is to get rid of the stinger this way. Disarming their adversary, deprived of their formidable weapons, the scorpion becomes easy prey for both the young as well as adults. If a warning shout is given, the whole flock rushes for cover, but the sentinel does not see the alarm is false it turns out that the cunning bird, the drang, has learned to mimic the meerkat's voice to sow panic and seize the moment to steal someone else's dinner. The jackal is quite a cunning desert predator and the meerkat is the perfect prey for him, which isn't easy to catch. The whole clan is already aware of the approaching predator and all they have to do is hide in branching tunnels to wait out danger after a series of pathetic attempts in the hope of catching the vigilant meerkats, the jackal give up the idea and move on, but not all all enemies can hide in burrows, and in in this case, the meerkats decide to intimidate the enemy with numerical superiority. The critters also have a certain immunity to snake venom, but the cobra is one of the deadliest snakes in the world. But that doesn't frighten the defenders who approach it at a dangerous the tactic works and the stranger quickly leave the area from time to time. From time to time the meerkats are forced to leave their dens and dig new ones at a distance of 1-2 kilometers forced relocation occurs due to attacks by a neighboring clan or due to parasites, and by the way, animals spend a lot of time time for personal hygiene to help each other help each other to get rid of uninvited guests only the main female has the right to breed in the plan only the dominant female in some cases she may drive away or even kill competitors up to 7 young r. Usually born weighing about 30 grams and the other females take turns playing the role of the day in rearing the young the whole family is taught to dig holes in them. 
The whole family the babies are taught to dig holes to hide from danger and look for for food with special attention handling deadly prey which includes scorpion snakes and large spiders in the wild meerkats usually live up to six years in captivity. Twice as long. The animal is easily domesticated and people in, in Africa have them as a means of controlling snakes, rodents, and scorpions. But it's important to remember that they don't tolerate the cold requires a special diet and requires a lot of attention.